contents. Number one, installation. Two, maintenance. Three, troubleshooting. Four, calibration. Five, accuracy verification. Unpack the box. Remove the packing belt. Take out the user manual, tools, bow, USB flash disk, riser, and bottom plate. Lift the holder up and then place it on the ground. Assemble of the holder. Fix the left and right side riser with 4 and 5 screws matched with flat washers. The riser's clips must be inserted into the grooves. Fix the bottom plate with 6 plastic rivets. Unpack the box of main machine and assemble it. Unscrew three M8 hexagon screws with a hexagon spanner six. Insert the feet of main machine into the holes in the holder. Accessories installation. Fix the handle on the top of the cover with M6 times uh, 10 screws. Fix the monitor holder on top of the dispenser. Pick up the mouse pad from the accessory box. Fix it on the right of the dispenser with three inner hexagon bolts M6 X12. Rotate the handle and pull the wet brush assembly out. Add water into the box. The water level should not exceed these plastic sleeves. Otherwise, it may cause water overflow. Disassemble holding seat. Unscrew the screws of a side door with an Allen wrench. Disassemble the holding seat at the right side with an Allen wrench M5. And then assemble the side door back. Connect the computer with the machine. Remove current base of the monitor. Choose the suitable screws, M4 times 8 or, or M4 times 12, in the accessories box and fix the holder behind the monitor. Assemble the monitor in the holding seat, adjust the height and then tighten the screws. Connect the monitor, keyboard and mouse with the computer. Connect the dispenser with the computer via USB cable. Turn on the dispenser and computer. Software installation. Mm -hmm. 
Insert the USB disc and open it. Click setup and wait for the installation to finish. Select import and choose the formula you want to import. Open the top cover Fill the coolant Colorants After 1 minute mixing Input 0 0.9 liters Repeat above steps until All colorants are filled into the canisters Dispensing Standard formula Search color code Choose color code serial Choose product Set can size Place a can Click dispense Dispense is done when please remove the base can shown on the screen. Remove the base can. Mixing. Seal the cover and put it in the shaker. Take out the base can after shaking. Machine maintenance. Check the volume of colorants each week. Refilling colorants when colorants volume is less than 0.5 liters to avoid inaccurate accuracy. Change water in the cleaner box every week. Keep power on if possible for 24 hours to prevent coloring from sedimentation. Machine troubleshooting. Error code 11, the emergency stop button is pressed. Release the emergency stop button. Error code 12, the top side cover is not in place. Close the top side cover. Error code E31. Point one. The sensor is too far or broken. Adjust the position of the sensor or replace the faulty sensor. Two. Mainboard broken. Replace it. Turn off the machine and unplug before repairing. Error code E41.1. Check if there is a 24 volt output, check the wiring of the switch power supply, turn off the machine and unplug before repairing. For error code E35, 1. Check if, if number 53 and 54 wire is broken. 2. Check if S9 sensor wiring is broken. 3. Check if S9 sensor is broken. 
for piston rod cap is blocked by lifting the turn off the machine and unplug before repairing. 5. Error code E32 1. Check if the wiring of the driver is loosened. Rotate the coupling to check if the SS sensor flickered. Should flicker for normal state. Two, piston rod cap is blocked by nut. Three, the stepper motor driver is broken, replace the driver. Six, error code E38. One, check if S8 sensor wiring is broken. Two, check if S8 sensor is broken. Seven, error code E38. Reposition the pump head or rotate the pump valve to the level position. Calibration Preparation Computer Step 1 Computer with a 9-pin serial port in automatic calibration mode. 2. 1. Electronic scale with an accuracy of 0.001 G. 3. 2 liter colorant after 1 minute mixing and 4 hours or more rest. 4. Cloth or tissue for cleaning. 5. Several cups with capacity of 400 milliliters or above. Setting the calibration scheme. Run service. Run service on their folder C semicolon dash color export 3 slash bin dot the default mode is A1. 2. Setting the scale. After initializing finished, choose pump, calibration parameter, electronic scale, choose manual, then click the tick sign to save. Setting tear clear and outpouring. Choose calibration parameter tear clear, untick it, then save it. Default outpouring volume is 15 milliliters. Can capacity and max weight setting. Enter service slash pump slash calibration param set can capacity volume according to the size of the can the max weight is up to maximum measure uh, measuring range of the scale set 200 grams at the beginning amend the density calibration choose number one canister click calculate density enter weight of the colorant after each shot following the, the dialogue Choose number one canister, click calibration, colorant, density, and start calibration. Calibrating. Enter the total weight of the container and colorant after each shot following the dialogue. No need to reset the scale after each shot. The cup needs to be empty to record the figure showed on the scale before you empty the cup. Tear, tear the scale when the cup is put back. The sum of the new figure and the recorded figure shall, shall be entered the next time. Calibration data. Choose OK after calibration finished and then choose Auto Delete data. Calibration data saving. Click save and the calibration is finished. Repeat for other canisters. Accuracy verification. Accuracy verification. Select channel ID as canister one and choose the edited scheme. Click verify accuracy.
input weight of each shot without resetting manually. Input the weight after each shot. Click export to save the data as an Excel for reference. Note, if the result is satisfactory, the calibration is effective. If not, you may do the calibration again. Factors affecting the calibration. 1. Colorant should be more than 1.5 liters before calibration. 2. The pump should have no air inside. 3. The valve and the nozzle should have no air. 4. Actual density of colorant. 5. Mix of colorant at least 30 minutes. Operations when dispensing inaccuracy. Check whether the choices like formula and can size are right. The base paint is divided into inner wall, external wall, heavy color, dark color, light color, etc. Check whether your paint choice is right. Check whether there is air in the canisters. If there was, empty the air manually. Check whether there is colorant on the nozzle and check the colorant quantity in the canisters.